Hello guys and welcome back to our highlights from our game against Didcot Town. Considering the Wayside conceded 7 goals last week against Pool Town, Borough found it really difficult to craft a shot within the first 20 minutes. A scrimshaw solo run saw the striker fire a shot towards goal, but lacking any power the shot ended up causing no real threat. Gosport were given a free kick on the 30th minute after Alex Barcel was brought down on the edge of the box. Bradley Tarbuck hovered over the ball and took a crack at goal seeing the ball drilled into a Didcot body. Moments later, good feet for Magpan saw a ball switch from Magpan onto Tarbuck. Tarbuck took a short but smashed one over the Didcot bar. It was Tarbuck involved with the final bit of action as the ball was lifted into the midfielder located in a dangerous area but the keeper got down low to deny Tarbuck's low driven effort. The full time whistle shortly followed with the half concluded Gosport nil, Didcot nil. Burrow were unlucky not to get the opener shortly after the second half kicked off. A corner whipped in from Diaz fell inches in front of Jordan. Any sort of contact from Jordan would have surely resulted with a goal, with the defender stood just behind an empty net. With Stewart being ruled out thanks to a recent suspension, it was Callum Smart's first opportunity to prove himself. And that's exactly what he did when he faced the counter-attack. Pollen had the first opportunity dragging a shot towards the bottom corner, but Smart pulled off a brilliant initial save and then had to follow that up with an additional four saves combined with some rebounds to keep the ball out of the Burren net. Following smart saves, the Didcot corner found Giles who somehow launched the ball over the crossbar from just yards out. Despite not having many shots in the game, Dan Wooden was unlucky not to get his goal. A perfect delivery from Bradley Tarbot picked out Dan Wooden in front of goal. After connecting well with the ball, the striker guided the ball the wrong side of the Didcot post. With minutes left on the clock, Harvey Roo went for a wonder goal from distance. Rocketing one towards goal, the midfielder's shot was diced wide in Gosport's final effort and the full-time whistle went with Gosport drawing 0-0 to Didcot Town. Unfortunately, it does feel as though this game saw two points dropped rather than the one gained and after the clear dominance in Borough possession, that means the points are shared. We go again Wednesday against Hanwell Town, but final words from me, up the Borough.